Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching my YouTube channel AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video lecture, we will talk about energy of an isolated system which is constant and perpetual motion machine of first kind that is impossible. So, first is energy of an isolated system is constant right from the first law of thermodynamics for a process we know that d cut q is equal to de plus d cut w right for an isolated system as it is an isolated system neither mass nor heat or energy is been interacted so d cut q will be equal to 0 and d cut w will also be equal to 0 therefore this equation 1 suppose it is equation 1 so the equation 1 becomes DE equal to 0. What is DE? It is nothing but the difference between the energies uh, between the two states. So say E2 minus E1 is 0. or as you can write it as E2 is equal to E1 that is equal to constant means energy for an isolated system is same for any state during a process so we get this E2 is equal to E1 and we got to know that energy of an isolated system is constant from this. The second thing which we are talking about is perpetual motion machine of first kind which is also known as PMM1 is impossible see what uh, perpetual motion machine of first kind is it says that it is that type of machine which will produce continuously work without observing absorbing without absorbing any kind of heat or any other kind of energy so but how it is possible because it violates our first law of thermodynamics which says that uh, summation q is equal to summation w our primary uh, equation for thermodynamics for first law this is impossible therefore it is impossible because 
these thermodynamic laws are experimentally proven and if you want to say that these are not valid you have to experimentally prove that this is wrong so we know that first law of thermodynamics cannot be violated or cannot be wrong so this violates our first law of thermodynamics which says that there should be some energy to be taken by the machine so to produce work so we can write it like this there can be no machine which will develop work continuously without absorbing any without absorbing any form of energy so from first law of thermodynamics itself we got to know that energy of an isolated system is constant and perpetual motion machine of first kind is impossible